Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we will see how to make a pie chart in Excel with multiple data. Charts are great ways to visualize data, and Excel has many options for creating and for formatting charts. The type of chart you create depends on the kind of data you have. In this case, we're going to look at creating a pie chart. Pie charts are best suited for data that is represented as parts of a whole. For example, the percentage-wise contribution of different branches of a store to the store's uh, monthly sales. When you have multiple data, when you have more than two sets of data, it is better to reduce that data set to just two sets because that makes the pie chart more meaningful where you just have one uh, data series and the associated percentage. When creating a pie chart in Excel, I don't necessarily need to convert the values into percentages because this is done automatically by Excel. In this example, I have some data for the year 2020 and the number of tourists who have visited from uh, different countries. So I'm going to create a pie chart. As you can see, there are three variables here. There's the year, country and the number of tourists. I could create a pie chart using the year as well, but since this is common across all rows, it doesn't make sense to include it in the pie chart itself. It will just come as part of the label. Instead, I will just create it on the country and the number of tourists. As you can see, the numbers are not in the form of percentages, but when I create the pie chart, Excel will automatically take the total and then compute the percentage for each country. So I will select this and then go to insert. And over here, I have the option for the pie chart to insert a pie chart. So I'll expand the menu and select the first one and click on this. And I have my chart displayed already. I'll just drag this to make it a little bigger. Now, what I want to do is I want to add the percentages uh, because this is doesn't have any meaning. So to do that, I'll go to add chart element. And under data labels, I will select more data label options. Now this opens the format data labels box. Now I can see while I'm making changes in this pane, the changes will be updated in the chart. Right now this is showing values which I don't want. So I will click percentage instead and unclick the values. Now right now it's saying best fit, but I think I want them on the outside end, the labels. So see, that looks uh, much neater and the percentages are displayed properly. So I'll close this pane and there I have a ready pie chart. Another important thing to remember when creating a pie chart, apart from the fact that you should try as far as possible to reduce the data to only two sets of variables, is to try and limit the number of rows. In this case, the pie chart has come out quite neatly, even though there are many rows, uh, the percentages and all that are displayed separately. But assume I had about 20 rows, then the pie chart would look very, very messy because each one of the uh, slippers would be very, very narrow. So in that case, it is better to manipulate your data so that you don't have too many rows and the pie chart uh, comes out neatly. For example, if I had too many rows over here, one option would be to club a number, maybe the lower values into another field saying like other countries, maybe some of those values and put it as another value. So this is how you can make a pie chart in Excel with multiple data. Please read the appended article for further guidance.